That's four. Over the top of Scripps it goes. Fine shot. Yes, he's been looking for that one for a while. And the crowd here enjoying it. He's been waiting for the short ball outside off stump. Tammy Martin drawing away, no ball and getting four runs. Uh, this can't afford to give him too much width when he's doing that. They should be right at the stunts. Good result. It's 50 for David Boone. Superb knock. A real fighter. Superb batsman. Four for 94. Let's bowl him. Absolutely beaten in flight there. A little bit of swing for Ian Bishop. Maybe it cut back a little bit or caught an inside edge of the bat. David Boone seemingly playing over the top of it. And that really does put a dent in Australia's hopes. The Australian captain strides to the wicket with his team in real trouble. As you see, they're second in the all-time run-making list. 10,073 runs. That's a lot of runs. Just requiring another 50 to go past Sunil Gavaskar. And I'm sure he, along with all of Australia, would love to see him get those 50 runs here today. Testimony to his skill, his courage, his dedication. And he's played on. And that's a pair for Alan Border. And Australia are just about down and out. And Border playing on that one off the inside edge. It's in the air. This time he's found the gap and he's off the mark. And there'll be a bit of relief there for Ian Healy. Wasn't a very convincing shot, but he had a, a little bit of fortune as it flew waist high through the gap between the slips and the gully. Australia six for 100. And Ian Bishop currently in his best bowling spell against Australia. Four more runs to Ian Healy. If he gets a few of those underway, he'll start to relax a little bit more and back more like Ian Healy, we know. He's got that away nicely. Yeah, the there's a man down there. Oh, good catch. What a match he's having. What a series. That was a very, very difficult catch. Certainly Ambrose, I won't say he made it look easy, but he made it look easier than a lot of other people would have. Damien Martin is gone for 31. Well, the ball was there to hit, and Martin got underneath that one, scooped it in the air. But he's a magnificent athlete, this man. Takes the ball low around his shins. He's got those long arms underneath the ball, and Cummings is, is static. Nicely placed. Bishop will do the chasing there. Pretty well timed by Healy also. It's seven for 140. That's a very good blow. Something with that beefy bat. Well, big Mervyn Hughes has give that one the full swing of that rather large bat that he uses. The bazooka shot. The flat bazooka. And that is uh, the end of Merv Hughes. Courtney Walsh has got him. Looked like a top edge. Junior Murray takes another catch. He's had a good match. Nothing difficult about that one. But uh, his work has been good. Courtney Walsh claims another wicket. And it's 8 for 162. Yep, yep. And played straight down the ground. And uh, that'll hit the fence. Nice shot, actually. Just lent into it. And away she went. 
Oh, that's out, caught behind. Magnificent delivery, that one. Five wickets in the innings, and that ball seemed to me to nip away off the seam towards the slip cordon, hit the outside edge of the bat, and ended up going straight to the keeper. Well, that's number five for Ian Bishop, and number eight for the match for the junior Murray, the wicket keeper. And junior Murray now with 19 catches for the series. And that was a really good delivery, a bit of bounce and a bit of movement off the seam. To be caught. Courtney Walsh is there, and he's spilt it. He's probably the worst of the West Indies fielders, but that was really a sitter. First slip, Brian Lara knocks it up and takes it. So Ian Bishop picks up uh, six wickets, his best bowling figures in Test cricket. The West Indies have won the series and they retain the Frank Worrell trophies.